Hi everybody, I'm glad to see you all in a new video and from my seat it seems like the same thing on a different day because we're sat with AMC once again in this price range. Sure, we're up by about 0.26% but AMC is now sat at 15.26 and it's not like we are just getting into the day now. When we look at where we are, we've been open for some time. It's really quite surprising that AMC is trading this flat but we are going to be looking at where it is today. We're going to be looking at these key prices price levels, not that they matter too much because as I've said before, I don't play or pay too much importance on price, but we're going to have a look at them regardless alongside the figures. A few more AMC videos to come in the rest of today and of course more stuff's going to be coming out tomorrow hopefully, so if you do like this sort of stuff, do subscribe please. But remember, it's not financial advice. So we're going to jump straight in and where we'll actually start off again is going to be looking at the price. Now, again, this is no in-depth technical analysis, so don't expect it to be, but I do just want to quickly highlight the key levels that I'm seeing. So initially in the morning, we did have that big climb, which is nice to see. Not really able to remain above 1550 though, coming back down and hitting a support just above 15 exactly, which again is a nice level to be at because we do want to break above 15 and maintain above that level. So we are now seeing that which is good and we want to see that continue to be the case. Anyway, from there we went even higher and we went up to the new level of 15.26. At the moment it appears to be the case that we're waiting to just see if this new level will hold up. And hopefully it will, and hopefully we can actually get a bit more green action towards the end of day. Now as I've said before, they do generally tend to run AMC with the markets. Usually AMC is either up more or uh, up less or down more. So what I mean by that is of course when we have big green days in the market or even fundamentally, AMC goes up a tiny bit, but when we have the slightest bit of bad news, it comes down. And what happens there is what we can see in the past six months. We form this trend of really continuous dips and, of course, the perfect opportunity to spread FUD, as you will know. So that's one thing that I'm going to be... Uh, looking out for you know to see what happens with the price section especially today but we also have the figures from Ortex guy that's jd ruckus who is on reddit massive shout out to the user we're going to be looking at both of his posts one by one and we'll start off with this one but first we'll read his little post Ortex guy here with your opening bell update for today it was posted three hours ago by the way and we can see short, short interest is now at 21%. We can see utilization is still at max and loan shares continue to climb only 19 million away from all time highs. So happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Now, this time we're going to look at the change figures first, then we'll get into the uh, second page. So the change figures, which are listed over here, we'll read through them if we can. Okay, so we have to get this one up. So yeah, we'll have a read through the change figures. We've seen a exchange reported SI from the last period being down by 2.75, Autex estimated SI of free float up by 1.98, percentage of free float on loan up by 3.84, uh, shares on loan up by 3.86. Days to cover on loan up by 10.04, cost to borrow up by 1.38, and utilization has not changed because that is still locked at 100%. So there you go, everything that you need to know. Again, the big figures are not changing in any way, which is detrimental to us, which is, of course, great to hear. Um, looking back to the list of figures that we have over here, we get the generalized data. We can see things like the cost of borrow minimum being at 1.9 and the maximum being at 3.9. The average, therefore, is at 2.6. A bit of an increase from the last data that we looked at, but not necessarily too big of a fee just yet. The borrowed change is 142k shares. That means that 500 shares have been returned and borrowed shares have been, well, they've withdrawn 143 extra borrowed shares. So there you go. The short interest is estimated to be at 21.16% and the current short interest as a number of shares is expected to be 109.03 million. So that's what we're seeing with the figures, you know, directly for AMC today. Now, bringing this back into the chart, it's very clear what we're looking for now. We're looking for those next pushes upwards. And for me, in my opinion, there's no reason why we shouldn't see them. More and more good news has come out about AMC over time, and even from the initial good news that we had from earnings, we didn't see a push-up even based on that. So I think it, on that alone, AMC is really bound for a push-up, in my opinion, uh, fairly recently, if you ask me. I think it is definitely deserving of one. That is also just my thoughts, though, because, you know, I am not an advisor. 
But I do think this stock where it is right now, it really is quite unjust. Again, if we are looking at the price action, be very cautious, don't read too much into it, but we should hopefully be looking for some more upwards momentum. Now again, as I've said, when the markets are up, they do run this one a little bit more than when that is not the case, so don't read too much into it because they could just bring it down when the markets come down again. But you know, the day-to-day -day price action doesn't matter too much. The intention of this video is to not give you an ultimate guide because I think most people know now what they want from AMC and I don't think it's really too relatable to the price action. So with that being stated, we are now coming to the end of the video. Massive, massive shout out to everybody that watched it this far. Have a wonderful day and of course do remain safe out there. Be cautious and keep learning because the more info we have, the better a position we are in. So I will see you all in a bit for more stuff. Hope you will be able to join us for that too, but for now guys, I'm going to say it again, goodbye. Well, thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord. So on your screen, you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously, it is split into multiple sections. Basically, at the top, we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further, we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs, and other hot stocks, including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well. And we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down, you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes, and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon